Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. I had my divorce party recently and it was pretty wild. Things got really crazy as you can see, but this was a big moment for my family and my friends and I, so we partied hard. This was my first time doing the confetti cannons and it was such a cute look and fun, but it makes a huge mess. So I'll be bringing in my big vacuum to take care of this. We had a lot of fun though. We ate a lot of food, drank a lot of champagne, had some cake, and yeah, now it's time to just clean it all up. Starting off with some music, I'm still in a really great mood from the night before. Um, this kind of mess, it doesn't overwhelm me. My Halloween party got actually more wild than this one. I forgot to mention that that ended in a food fight. If you watch my vlogs, then you know that. What I do is just grab two bags, one for garbage and one for recycling anything that I can salvage. Not everything I can keep because some of it has like crumbs on it or stains. I'm laughing thinking about the night before. <laughs> I'm painfully pouring this champagne out that we didn't drink. Then after that, I'm gonna grab my garbage bags and start separating trash and recycling and then wipe down all the countertops. I noticed there was a bunch of confetti in the sink that I had to take out. It was also in the garbage disposal. But I want to know, do you guys clean the night of the party or do you wait until the next morning? This is my big vacuum that I use for my car. You'll get a better look at it later on in the video. But I just didn't want to over stuff my shark with all of this confetti. And it's kind of hard to get up off the tiles. It's a lot easier to get the confetti off the rug with my shark. So you'll see that towards the end. But I wanted to use the big vacuum to get the majority of it. And because some of the pieces were wet underneath, I used my scraper. That's what I'm grabbing out of the drawer there just to get that up.
Now moving on to the bar cart, I'm just getting all the confetti off of it and reorganizing the bottles. I definitely didn't consider that the confetti would be literally everywhere and stick to everything <laughs> before I got it. It also did leave the bottom of my feet stained yellow in some spots on the counter, but with the cleaner it was easy to get it off. But yeah, just in case you're thinking about doing this, that's something good to know. these banners were like the highlight of the party they were so funny i did post some pictures on instagram and i have some clips from the actual party but i can't find that memory card i wish i could share some clips with you guys but i might if i can find them i'll put them in my next vlog now i'm working on the dining table i'm gonna put that big box out to recycling I got food from Mission Barbecue again. I got that last time for my Halloween party and the brisket is so good. The big basins I'm going to hand wash along with all the other like platters and stuff for the party. I always reuse that stuff. But I really like these basins. I got them from Amazon and they fit at least three to four champagne bottles perfectly. Now I'm finally starting to vacuum up all of this confetti. This was the hardest part of all the cleaning, as you can imagine. I had to bend over the whole time. I had to keep taking breaks, but honestly, it was so satisfying to watch. Now into the kitchen, I'm just moving this garbage and recycling bag out of the way so I can get up all this confetti. I'm trying to do it in sections and trying to not have it blow back into the areas that I already cleaned and it worked out pretty well. After this, I'm going to work my way into the living room, do the same thing there, pick up trash, organize things, and vacuum up this never-ending confetti.
I thought this was a different package that I was waiting for and then when I opened it up I saw that it was the anchors that I ordered from Party City because I had called them the day before and told them that I wanted all gold and black anchors and they said I would have to purchase them separately so I did. Didn't think they would deliver them to my house so I'm sending them right back. I'm moving this laundry out of the way and putting it in my room on my bed that I did earlier this morning. I also did clean my room and bathroom earlier that morning. So I did a lot of cleaning on this day and I got this part of the cleaning done super fast in about two hours. Ruby came out of her room and she was like, that was really fast. The couch did have some confetti, but not too much to where I had to take all the cushions out and vacuum the entire thing. So I'm just vacuuming what I can see and trying to get up what's around the edges of under the couch. There's probably confetti underneath, but I didn't want to do all that today. So that'll have to wait for another time. I wasn't using my shark for very long until it started showing me a red light, meaning something stuck in it. So I turned it over and looked underneath. I emptied it out and it still wasn't working. And then I found out that it was a piece of a balloon stuck so the wheel wasn't turning.
I turned on my Christmas tree and if you guys watched my Christmas clean and decorate video you know that the top is not lighting up and my dad looked at it while he was here and he said that he can fix it for me which is awesome so I don't have to return it I'm just um, I moved all those random things off of the bookshelf and putting things back where they go I had a strobe light that I'm putting away after this I'm moving into the entryway to tidy up and put away some boxes a lot of Christmas gifts started coming in and right now in my office they multiplied since then I'm lighting up these little tea lights that I got from Amazon. They're for the party, but I thought they looked cute with my Christmas decor, so I decided to keep them up. I took a break for a while and I started getting cold so I put my robe on. Anytime I'm doing any type of activity where I start to get a little bit sweaty, as soon as I stop I get cold. So I put my robe on and I was about to start mopping but I decided to wipe down the bar stools and hand wash the platters and party supplies from earlier. I just took my robe off because now I'm hot. That's how it is, like once I stop moving around I'm cold and then once I start moving around again I'm hot. I ended up having to run to the store, so that's why I have this sweater on now. I don't remember if I took it off again. Probably so, because I'm mopping now, and I always get super hot when I mop. I was going to finish the video the next day, but I'm like, no, I'm going to finish it tonight, so I don't have to do anything tomorrow. I did a lot the last couple of days, the last couple of weeks, actually.
and that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll make more like this as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you all in my next video